Hi, I'm Matt and this is Grace and we are curators in exhibitions at the National Library and today we're in the preservation lab looking at some stunning works on the table here uh, and Grace is going to tell us a little bit more about them, aren't you Grace? Yeah, thanks Matt. Um, these are some of my favourite works and I've been looking at them because I'm curating an exhibition for our collection in Focus Space and it's an exhibition of Ellis Rowan's paintings of the Birds of Paradise from New Guinea. Can you, can you tell us a little bit more about Ellis Rowan? Ellis Rowan uh, was an Australian artist and she's probably best known for, to most people for her stunning uh, wildflower paintings, especially paintings of Australian wildflowers, but she did also travel extensively overseas and she was also quite interested in birds and painted the Birds of Paradise as we can see here. Absolutely. And uh, how did these birds, this collection, get into the National Library? How did they get into our collection? Yeah, so that's a great question, Matthew. Um, the Ellis Rowan collection, well, actually there are a few different collections that include uh, Rowan material in them, but the best known is our Ellis Rowan collection of uh, paintings, like this mm. one, um, and there are hundreds of items in that collection, and they were actually bought for the, na for the nation shortly after her death. Now, um, she died in 1922, mm. and I believe it was the following year that they were bought for the nation, and they eventually came into the care of the National Library of Australia, where we look after them. Is there something particularly special about this collection? Yeah, I think the, the collection, well, there's many special things about it. Um, having so many items in the collection, so it's considered to be just under about a third of her total artistic output, means that it's just this huge comprehensive collection of an artist's body of work, which is fantastic. Um, also the fact that um, we can learn so much about Australian wildflowers from the collection. It's, it's really interesting. Now, Ellis Rowan, um, she wasn't trained as a botanical illustrator, but she had a great passion for wildflowers. And um, her work often meant that she was um, one of the first people known to have, um, first Euro people of European descent known to have um, documented some of these flowers. So they're, they're very important from, from that point of view as well. They can really teach us a lot about um, di different aspects of our, of our natural history and of course about the birds including these, these wonderful birds of paradise. So if I want to see the works, um, how do I go about seeing them? So there's a couple of ways that you can go about seeing them. Um, actually you can look at them from your home because most of them have been digitised and they're available, you can go through the library's website, through our catalogue, you can have a look on Trove as well. Um, you can also, um, when the library is open, you're able to come in and request them and look at them in our special collections reading room. Mm. And of course, there are other ways you can access the collection too. Um, recently, NLA Publishing has produced a book called Ellis Rowan, A Life in Pictures. That's by Christine Morton Evans, and that is a beautifully illustrated book that has many of the pictures. And um, in a couple of months, you'll be able to see some of them, some of the Birds of Paradise, in the exhibition that I'm working on. Ah, so that's why you're looking at the, co the collection at the moment? That's because why you're doing I'm looking at the collection. Yeah, um, it's, it's a collection that I've been interested in for some time, so I was really excited to get the opportunity to, to look through it. And initially, my brief was to, to find an aspect of the collection that would be interesting for the collections in focus space. So that's a space that has um, just about 25 works, so really quite small. And as I went through, I just became really fascinated by her birds of paradise. I must confess, I, I am a bird lover. I think, I think a twitcher. As am I. Yeah. <laughs> I think a twitcher is the the term. So yeah, yeah. We're, we're both twitchers. Both twitchers. Um, so I was yeah very drawn, and I didn't actually know a lot about birds of paradise. So I've I've really enjoyed discovering more about them, but then also um, learning more about Ellis Rowan, an, an artist I, who I really admire. And um, so you've looked at quite a few pictures. Uh, have you been able to pick out a favourite? Well, um, it's, it's very hard to pick out a favourite because there are so many, so many wonderful pictures. But I would say this work here that I've, I've got out, um, which is, it, you can see it's the male and the female, and it's, it's known as Princess Stephanie's Bird of Paradise. And I think it's just really stunning, um, a really stunning example of Rowan's work. It also um, sort of interests me from the point of view of, of understanding a bit more about the birds mm. of paradise. When, so the, the males tend to have really colourful, often elaborate sort of feathers, plumage, um, really long tails, and this, this bird, which is an astrapia, 
Um, and you can see here that, that the, the, the sort of the dynamic between the male and the female who, and he's really trying to get her attention with his, with his colourful feathers there. Yeah, and they are very colourful. Right? They are very colourful. Well, thanks very much for that, Grace. That was a very interesting talk about Alice Rowan and I look forward to seeing the exhibition.